Hello everybody out there, I'm Chris and welcome back to another comic book review and in this review I'm reviewing the final issue to World's End and that's issue number 26. This issue starts off with Green Lantern finally facing off against Darkseid and failing epically. However, the other heroes of Earth 2 um, are able to regather themselves and try to defend Earth 2 against Darkseid. And um, Flash actually decides to... T the one part I didn't really like was the part where Flash decides to turn and run to find his mother so he could escape Earth 2 uh, with his mom. And I like how in the end, though, he kind of changes his mind and realizes, hey, uh, the world needs me. Uh, and he apologizes to his mother and then runs off uh, back to the JSA. I'm calling him the JSA. Back to the JSA to um, try to fight off Darkseid. And then we have this conflict with Alan Scott. Uh, he's given all the powers of all the parliaments. However, he won't embrace them because in embracing them, he has to basically uh, release his humanity and give it up uh, permanently. And he's not willing to do that because of his um, because of Sam. He's still in love with Sam. He doesn't want to lose his humanity. He doesn't want to forget about Sam. But then Sam says... I was a test. I was given, uh, I was given to the white, or I became white because um, I was your biggest test. And the test was to say goodbye. And then, spoiler alert, Alan Scott finally decides to say goodbye and embraces all the parliaments and all of the um, the powers. And then he again goes up against Darkseid. And while he can't really stop or take Darkseid out completely. He's able to knock him out far enough that they're able to save more people uh, from Earth 2. However, um, Darkseid gathers himself quickly and unfortunately some people are lost. And honestly, in the end, Darkseid basically wins. The Earth 2 refugees are now uh, en route to try to find somewhere else. And this obviously leads into the events of Future's End and a few other things that happen along the way. And that's really the end. The end is just... Earth 2 superheroes, whichever one survived, kind of just leaving. And it says to continue uh, to find out more about what happened to Earth 2, read Convergence number 1. So obviously this is leading into Convergence number 1. So Earth 2 was lost to Darkseid. We all knew that was going to happen. We didn't know which, which heroes would be left behind. We actually did find out who they were. I'm not going to spoil that here. But there were heroes left behind. And um, we don't know how they're going to make it to Earth 2 society, uh, but obviously Convergence will answer that for us as time moves forward. This was a good miniseries. In whole, though, in total, this was really one of those books that it's just like every issue kind of just, it was quick, it was a fight, it, they were fighting against Darkseid, and they just continued to lose, and it kept getting worse and worse for Earth 2 until obviously the, the inevitable uh, destruction of Earth 2. Out of the three weeklies, I have to say that Earth 2 World's End kind of fell short um, on all three um, weeklies. This was kind of my least favorite of the three weeklies. Um, it ended the way we thought it was, and we it ended pointing us right towards Convergence, which is which most where most of the weeklies pointed to, minus obviously Batman Eternal, which was just for Batman. So, I have to give World's End as a whole series a three out of five stars it was an okay series maybe if you could trade paperback it if you really 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 want to see the definitive end to the earth 2 run which will then lead into earth 2 society go for it if you want background for convergence get it if none of anything i just said means anything to you convergence earth 2 anything like that this is a series you don't need this is a series that is not important but again if you're a fan of earth 2 if you're a fan of what's to come with earth 2 society and if you're if you're following convergence and you're like me wanting the whole background this is a series that you might want to consider checking out uh, i can't give it more than three stars the artwork was very good in this series though i will say that the artwork made this book a pleasure to read even though sometimes it was like the same repetitive stuff over and over and over and the fighting over and over and over and the losing and just earth 2 completely plummeting into the abyss where we knew it was going to plummet to. 
So all in all, though, up to you guys. And as always, don't forget to leave comments below, guys. Let us know what you thought of World's End. Was it worth the read? Wasn't it worth the read? Was it a good finale? Was it a good setup? Are you ready for Convergence? Let us know. And as always, don't forget to check out Comic Related, Comic Frontline, and Zone4Podcast.com, as well as Frontline Gaming Zone. Together, we are your number one source for comic related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. And until next time, everybody, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in the next review.